This RefWorks training session will cover several different ways to add references directly into RefWorks, including uploading a document, importing references from a file, creating a reference manually, and searching library databases for references. If you haven't yet watched the training session about exporting references to RefWorks, you may want to watch it first before you watch this one. Let's start by uploading a document, such as a PDF, to your RefWorks account. Go to the Add button at the top of RefWorks and choose Upload Document. Find the document file on your computer, and RefWorks will start uploading the file. Another way is to just drag the file onto the RefWorks web page when you're in any of the reference folders or tabs and drop it in the circle. You can drag or upload multiple files at one time. During the upload, RefWorks scans the file to find key bibliographic data in the document, such as title, authors, original source, and so on, and adds them to the reference information. Click the reference to see that bibliographic data in the sidebar. Notice the button that says Read. Now that the document is stored in RefWorks, you'll be able to view it when you're logged into RefWorks from any computer. Back on the list of references, notice the icon below the authors. That tells you there is a file attached to this reference. You can also import reference files into RefWorks. This is useful if you already have a file or you are migrating from another reference manager like Zotero or EndNote. At the top of RefWorks, click Add and choose Import References. If you are importing references from Mendeley, click the Import from Mendeley button. Follow the steps from there to automatically bring the references into RefWorks. If you use another reference management service, like Zotero, you'll first need to export the references into a file. Or, you may have a reference file that you downloaded from a database, such as PubMed. Once the file is saved on your computer, drag it to the Import page. RefWorks will try to detect the format in which the references were created, but you can change the format if needed. Click Import, and then, if you want to, you can choose a folder or create a new folder for the references to be placed into. You may choose to also select if you want to import tags or ignore duplicates. Click Import and your references will be brought into RefWorks. Another way to add a reference to RefWorks is to do it manually, which you can use if you don't have an electronic version of the reference to import. At the top of RefWorks, click Add and choose Create References Manually. In the Reference Editor pane, choose the reference type, such as journal article or book or whatever type it is. Then, enter some information you have about the item, such as title and authors. RefWorks may be able to help you get the rest of the information about this reference. Click the lightning bolt to the right of the title. RefWorks searches through billions of references from Ex Libris Discovery, and at the bottom presents the most likely matches in the section called, Did you mean one of these? If you don't see a match, Continue adding information to the fields, such as publish date, journal, and so on. If you do find a match, click on it, and RefWorks will add the rest of the reference information automatically. Autocomplete of a reference detail is available for DOI, ISSN, and ISBN fields. When your reference details are complete, click Save on the bottom of the pane, and the reference will be added to your RefWorks account. If your institution enabled this in RefWorks, you can add references by searching for them in publicly available databases and library catalogs. Select a provider in the drop-down menu, enter some search terms, and click the search icon. Click on a reference to see the full reference in the Reference Preview panel. Check the boxes of the references you want to save, and click the folder icon to import to a specific RefWorks folder or click Import to Import without assigning to a folder. No matter which method you use to get a reference into RefWorks, if you don't already have a document file attached, you may be able to find the full text online. Depending on your institution's settings, in the Reference Preview panel, you may see a Link Resolver link or Unpaywall link, which allow you to look for and attach full text. 
To add an attachment to a reference, click the pencil icon in the Reference Preview pane to edit the reference, then click on Add File and find the file from your computer, or drag the downloaded file over to the reference sidebar. RefWorks attaches the document file to the reference. If your institution enabled this in RefWorks, you can also synchronize your RefWorks account to Dropbox and save your files in your Dropbox account. After your references are brought into RefWorks, you may want to edit them further. There are several ways to do this, and they are discussed in a separate training session on editing references in RefWorks. On behalf of RefWorks and ProQuest, part of Clarivate, thank you for watching Creating References and Adding Documents Within RefWorks. We encourage you to view our other videos for more information about using your RefWorks account.